I first met these guys in uh, 2009. They turned out to be the Nigerian National Amputee Football Team. And they were training outside the National Stadium in Lagos. I'd come to Nigeria to make a film about African football ahead of the 2010 World Cup in uh, South Africa. I was blown away by these guys. Just uh, watching them play and talking to them and hearing about their hardships, what it was like living and surviving in Lagos, um, you know, which must be one of the toughest places in the world, and that's for people with two legs. These guys didn't have jobs, they didn't have places to sleep. Uh, for years, some of them slept underneath the stadium. But they had football. They had their love for football. And no one could take that away from them. I love that. Over the years, I've been coming back regularly to meet with the team and film them and hear their stories. But when I came back this year, I found that the team wasn't doing that well. They'd been kicked out of the stadium grounds. And uh, they hadn't been training much. And, you know, it's hard for these guys to find bus fare to get to training. But we set up a training session at the nearby pitch where they play now. Uh, this pitch is pretty bad. Huge potholes filled with water. Still, you know, everyone seemed to be in good spirits. They always are. On to the good luck Obieze, who I think is the oldest guy on the team. He was leading the prayers before training. And then they started playing, you know, hard. Uh, these guys don't hold back. And it's just amazing to watch them and the intensity and uh, uh, the passion and the, uh, the commitment uh, that they show. It's just incredible. But then good luck got hurt. It seemed pretty clear from the beginning that he had broken his leg. He didn't want to go to a hospital. It was going to be too expensive. Uh, but I think more importantly, he didn't trust the hospital. At the hospital, they might amputate your leg if they feel like fixing it is going to be too big of a job. So instead, we took good luck to a traditional doctor. These guys set the bone using traditional methods and they treated his leg with herbal medicines. We negotiated the payments for the treatment over the next month and then they sent him home. In the next few days I went with Coach Mbenga uh, to visit Goodluck at his home where he lives with his wife and four kids. The doctors were there also treating the leg. I was interviewing Good Luck, and it was definitely one of the most emotional interviews I've ever done. My family, we don't have enough. I didn't ask any questions. Good Luck just talked. He talked about his moto taxi that he's bought and still making payments on, and he was wondering how he's going to be able to manage that now that he can't work. He was talking about his hopes and, you know, his dreams, about how much he loves football. At one point I said something about him losing his first leg. And he corrected me and said it wasn't a loss. It was because of that accident, he said, that he found the game. And it was because of that accident that he found his wife. And it was because of that accident that he got to live the life that he's lived. I mean, what do you say to that? <laughs>